Hey there, welcome to Brightworks. I'm taking on a tour of the Triangle of Death as well as how the thermostat works. So, <clears throat> we're looking at this engine, it's sideways. Um, here would be your breather plate, so that one can tend to leak. Here's your oil pressure light switch. Uh, that guy can leak from either that joint down there or where it bolts in. And then here's the interesting one, the thermostat. So we have a thermostat in these uh, engines. You can see this little port right here. That allows the oil to bypass. Down in the bottom, that's where it comes from. And you see the oil can bypass back into the engine when it's not warm enough. If I put the light in here, you'll see that we have another port that's a little deeper in. So the first one is about here. The second one is back here. And if I take you over to the thermostat, you can see that there are two ports, a high one and a low one. Right now, the thermostat is relatively cool, so it's blocking this port off, and it's got this port open. But, if we hit this guy with a heat gun, we're going to see, pardon the noise, As we hit this guy with a heat gun, it's simulating the engine heating up. So once the engine heats up, and if anybody knows the exact temperature that the thermostat's supposed to open at, post it in uh, the comments, that would be awesome. So you see it's starting to move a little bit. A lot. And now here it comes, you can see on the bottom, so this port is starting to open up. As we do that, we see that the other port is starting to close. This guy will go to full open. And it moves the location of where the oil ends up going out of when it flows in from there. So it either goes in the deep port, which we saw, sends it to the oil cooler, or the shallow port, which sends it back into the motor until it can warm up. So, check us out at brightworks.com.